I wonder if you could start by telling us what is your intention with the uh, the shareholding in Phoenix that you're going to get as a result of this and the uh, the option of a board seat. How active a shareholder, how long term a shareholder do you plan to be? Well, Anna, good morning and thank you for this. Um, you, you're exactly right. We're taking a, a combination of, of cash and shares in this transaction. Um, we've said uh, for a long time that we believe this is a very good business, uh, but Swiss Re is not a great owner of it, in part because of the capital regime that we have here in, in Switzerland, the Swiss solvency test. As a result of that, uh, we are happy to be a shareholder, an important shareholder in the Phoenix Group. Uh, we think it's a, a very well-run company, and we're looking forward for uh, benefiting from what we believe will be important synergies that will come by combining uh, some of Reassure's capabilities and, and onshore uh, administration with the Phoenix Group uh, broader portfolio. Yeah, I mean, get it, you know, getting a board seat is even a step beyond just being a shareholder. John, do you expect to take an active role then in um, in Phoenix? Yeah, so I, I think the board seat gives us an opportunity to uh, help uh, the group consider both future transactions. This is a, a, a business which, uh, by definition, will do a series of acquisitions in the future, uh, helping to free up capital from existing life insurance companies in the UK and across Europe. And we think we've got something to add on that. We also think that in some cases, some of our reinsurance clients, the primary insurance industry across Europe, uh, will find the opportunities to potentially do some work with Phoenix. And if we can facilitate that, all the better. What are your first thoughts on what you plan to do with the money, John? Uh, you cancelled the second portion of a share buyback plan for 2019. Uh, could you restart that? Is that part of the conversation as to what you do with the proceeds? Well, at this point, I think we'd like to close our year, be sure that we're uh, clear about uh, where all of the relative ratios are uh, for year-end 2019. Uh, we'll discuss this with the board uh, in the first months of 2020, and uh, as we usually will in, in, in February, come out with a clarity on uh, what the capital uh, actions, both in terms of dividends and any uh, potential uh, share buybacks, uh, would be uh, after those discussions with our board. What about uh, the other deal that you announced you're interested in? D does it change your perspective on the China Pacific, the possibility of a China Pacific deal buying a stake there? Look, I, I think these are relatively independent uh, operations. We've been uh, telling the world uh, for about 18 months that we're interested in reducing our stake in Reassure. We've achieved that. It, what we think is a, 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 a very fine price for shareholders with respect to uh, investments, further investments which we might make in China. Uh, these are related to uh, deep relationships with our reinsurance clients. Uh, over time, we'll see what makes sense and what might not make sense there. But uh, I, I don't think you should have any read across from this transaction for uh, future activities with uh, our Chinese partners.